All right. Today we're talking about lesson 6.2, Help Intercept Form. Okay. The, the Y, this is in day. It's the Y intercept. We can we stop with the clinker in the water? The Y intercept is the Y coordinate of the point where the line crosses the Y axis. This is the Y intercept. Find the Y intercept of this graph. It is the point 0, 1. Or we could say the Y intercept is just 1. Slope intercept form of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b. You are going to need to know that, and you are going to need to know that m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Now, when we are doing these problems, we are looking for that it is of this form, y equals mx plus b. y needs to be alone. Everything else needs to be on the opposite side. Whatever the coefficient of x is, that's our slope, and the number or constant, which is off by itself, is the y-intercept. If an equation is not written in slope-intercept form, you need to transform it into that form first. All right, let's look at some examples. This equation, y equals 7, 6, x minus 3, 4. First off, is that in slope-intercept form? Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Is that in that form? Yes, it is. What is the slope of this line, Timmy? My slope is 7, 6. Do I rewrite that as 1 and 1, 6? No, you do not. Leave it in improper fraction. What is our y intercept? Yes. Now, if you do not believe me that it is negative 3 fourths, my slope intercept form is plus b. If I change this to add the opposite, isn't that plus negative 3 fourths? So my y-intercept is negative 3 fourths. All right. This one, is this in slope-intercept form? y equals mx plus b. What is the slope? What is the slope? What is the y-intercept? Zero. Couldn't I, if I wanted to, Write plus zero there, and it would be the same exact thing. Yes. Is this line in slope intercept form? No. Y equals mx plus b. Do you agree with me that I could rewrite this if I wanted to? Y equals zero x minus four. What's zero times x? Doesn't y equal negative four? So, what is the slope of this line? Zero. What is the y-intercept? So, again, I'm going to say, is that in slope-intercept form? Yes, it is. As long as y is by itself, it is in slope-intercept form, and you have to condense the other side. Yes. It would be x equals something, and we're going to deal with that later. That's not in slope-intercept form, because it's not y equals. Okay? Good question. All right. Now, as of today, there are two things you need to write an equation of a line. What are they? You need the y-intercept, which is b, and what else do you need? You need the slope. Because don't we know the equation of line is y equals mx plus b? By the way, we've been doing this for a while, haven't we? Writing an equation of a function, we needed to find the slope or rate of change and the y-intercept where x is zero. 
It's the same thing. Now, look at this graph. What is the first thing that you can find easily from this graph? Emma. All right, how do you find slope from a graph? What are the words that we use? Okay, find our major intersection. There and there. Look at that graph. What kind of slope does that have to have? Negative. Don't lose track of that. So, my slope is going to be rise over run. Tell me what the rise over run is for this line. One, two, down negative three and to the right one two three four so negative three four so my slope is negative three fourths what's my y intercept katrina two what's the equation of that line katrina does everybody follow y equals negative three fourths x plus two do you see that? Let's try one more. What are the two things I need to write an equation of a line today? What are the two things? Slope and y-intercept. What kind of slope is this line going to have? It is going up. There's two major uh, intersections. What is the slope of that line? Tyson. Uh, rise over run. Rise over run. What do I write? One, two is twelve. One half. Up one over two. Up one over two. What is my y intercept? One. What is the equation of that line? Um, Dalton. Yep. Here's my slope and my line like that. What do I have to write first? Y equals. Correct. Question. That's easy enough, right? All right. Now, here we go. Those were the ones where I gave you the graph and I asked you to write the equation. Now, I'm going to give you the equation and I want you to graph it. Okay. Now, last week we did these by making a table of values. We don't need to do that anymore. First of all, what form is that line in? Slope intercept. What's the slope of this line, Timmy? Three? What is the y-intercept of that line, Katrina? Negative one. To graph a line, write a star here. To graph a line, you need two points. You need two points to graph a line. What is one point that they gave us immediately, Katrina? The y-intercept is negative one. So look, I'm going to go to my y-intercept. And I'm going to plot it at negative one. I found one point. The other thing we know is the slope. How can I find another point? Chase. Correct. Always write your slope as a fraction. Three is three over one. What words describe slope? What over what? Y over one. So. I am going to put my pencil on my y-intercept negative 1. Which way do I move for a rise of 3, Timmy? 1, 2, 3. And which way do I move for a run of 1, Chase? Right 1. And I put a point. What if I want to find another point? Can I go up 3 over 1? Up 3 over 1. I could. I don't need to. Now, do I stop? No. What do I need to do? Guys, this is a major problem on your test. You need to draw the dark line. Put arrows on the end of it. On this upcoming test, 
I am marking it wrong if you just have the point. Okay? You must draw the line. Chase. Or, um, in. Okay, so. Ian makes a good point. The slope is positive 3. Could I, for grins and giggles, write this as negative 3 over negative 1? Right? Because isn't that still 3? So, watch out. What? Negative do I write negative is a positive. So, if I put my pencil here, which way do I move for a run of, for a rise of negative three? Okay, so I go down, one, two, three. And which way do I move for a run of negative one? Down three, left one. Down three, left one. Are they all on the same line? If I do it perfectly straight. Do you see that? I always go up and over or down and over. Doesn't matter. Okay, right, here we go. Here we go. Is this line in slope intercept form? No, because it's not y equals. How do I get that in slope intercept form? What do I do? How do I move this one half x over to the other side? Yeah, correct. Subtract one half x from both sides. So, do you agree with me that this equation is y equals, because that's gone, negative one half x? Yes? So, now that it is in slope intercept form, what is the slope? Negative one half, and what is the y intercept? Zero. Now, yes, Ian. The first thing Ian said is that's proportional. He is correct. The y intercept is zero. So let's go over here. Boom. Bam. It goes through the origin. So right away we know that it's proportional. Which way do I move? Down one and then to the right two. Down one, right two. Down one, right two. If I wanted to, couldn't I write this as one over negative two? If I wrote it that way, I would go up one and right two. Up one and right two. Aren't they all on the same line? Yeah. Draw your line. Put arrows on the end. And if you don't have that on, I'm marking it wrong. Okay. Oh my goodness. Do we start freaking out? No, we get this in slope intercept form. What should I do first, Katrina? Yeah, we need to get y alone. So the first thing we're going to do is distribute. We're going to clean this bad boy up. So, what am I going to get when I distribute there? Trace. Yep, plus y equals zero. Now, I need to get y alone. So I want to move these two things to the other side. How do I move negative 6x over to the other side? Add 6x to both sides. How do I move this 8 to the other side? Correct. I'm going to do it at once. We're smart people. So on this side, bam, bam, I'm left with y equals 6x minus 8. What is the slope? 6 over 1. What is my y-intercept? Negative 8. So, to graph this, what do I do first? Y-intercept is negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which way do I move? For a slope of 6, up, up what? And over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. There's my line. Here we go. Tom's family is on a car trip to California. When they are 84.